hello friends welcome to this video so in this video i will show you how to implement video js to render videos from a url inside your react js application so you can see we have a ready made player right here where you can play your videos directly in the browser and we have all these controls available you can slow the speed of the video or increase it decrease it you can even view videos in full screen and also all these controls are there you can navigate forward backward all these you can adjust the volume as well so video js if you don't know it's a open source javascript library for embedding videos in a video player and playing it in the html browser so this is their official documentation website so we will be using it specifically for react js so first of all you need to install this package if you go to npmjs.com just search for this package which is video js i have already installed this so all the source code will be given in the description of this video so you just need to install this package I almost got 427000 weekly downloads so now to get started just create a simple functional component and for this we come to the jsx and uh, here we embed this component which is we will create this component which is video player and uh, it actually takes an options so this options we will declare it and then a on ready function so when your video player is ready this on ready function will execute and we simply say console log the video is ready to play so now we need to import some packages so right here at the top we need to import the video js which will be coming from this video js package and then we also need to import the css file which of this plugin which is contained inside dist video js dot css so we import this at the top and then we have various options right here we can declare video js options and this options will be related to the video player if you want to auto play the video it will set to true so there is an option here of auto play then we have if you want to show the controls so true if your player needs to be responsive then also it's true if you want a fluid interface true then so all these options you will say inside your video js options so you can check out their documentation as well so playback rates which is for slowing the video you have this control bar forward backward button and then in the source parameter you provide the video url so we are loading this video from the internet and playing it this is a mp4 video so after you do this now we will create this custom component which is video player so here we are passing some properties props to it so first of all we need to declare a reference to the video use ref hook we will use same for the player ref so both these variables will be null and then we will be declaring a hook playback rate and set playback using the use stat hook which is initial value will be 1 and then we will be extracting the options and the on ready function which will be coming from this prop properties that we are passing here these are the options and on ready so we are just destructuring it from the properties and here we will be binding this use effect hook which execute automatically as your application loads so here if the player reference we will attach the player reference is not loaded then we will simply load the video 
so we will create this element which is video js and we will add these classes dynamically by using this class list add so these classes are provided by this plugin vjs big play centered so this will add a video player at the center position and now we add need to add this to this append child we use this method add this video and we also need to add these options that we declared so for adding these options we use this so your player is ready now so so if you try to refresh your application go to localhost 5174 you see a message so I have given all the source code guys in the description so right here in the return statement you will put your so we'll see the video so the video will play in the video player but here in the JSX we do need to add this uh, reference right here video reference that we are using right here to load the image so then we have these uh, use effect here for this is for changing the speed of the video so this has a playback rate function as well so now the video will play so you can see that so in this way you can integrate the video js library in react js so thank you very much for watching this video and do check out my website as well uh, freemediatools.com uh, which contains uh, thousands of tools regarding audio video and image and i will be seeing you guys in the next video